आज हम लोग कर्ड सरफेसेस से रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट के बारे में पढ़ेंगे वी हैव लर्न द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम प्लेन मिरर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम द कर्ड मिरर्स लाइक कॉन्केव मिरर्स एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इमेज फॉर्मेशन वी हैव टू नो सम इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट द कर्ड मिरर्स हाउ द कर्ड मिरर्स आर मेड नाउ द कर्ड मिरर्स आर द पार्ट ऑफ अ हालो स्पेयर ऑफ ग्लास the an outer surface of that is small part any cut off portion of the spherical hollow sphere of glass when the outer surface is plated with uh, silver then the inner surface becomes the reflecting surface this type of mirror is called concave mirror and opposite to this when the mirror is plated from inside in inner side then the bulging surface becomes the reflecting surface and this type of mirror is called convex mirror so first of all we have to know about the things important things about the curved surfaces concave mirror and convex mirror let this be a square halo square like football and the made up of thin glass so when we cut a small disc from the that surface of the hollow sphere that cut off piece is called mirror when we make the inner surface as a reflecting surface means we coat we give a coat of silver on the outer surface here the outer surface if we coat here let us draw the firm line in a this is the portion of m m dash portion of hollow glass sphere now when the outer surface is silver silver coated then inner surface becomes reflecting surface let this be the center of the hollow sphere so this point c has also the center of this portion means this concave mirror m m dash so let a line passing through c we draw a line passing through c and meeting the reflecting surface meeting the concave mirror at point p this point p is called pole of the mirror now we have to know some terminology this is this axis this line say x y is called principal axis so first of all we have to know some terminology some terms used in context of convex mirror convex mirror ke bare mein kuch shabd hain jo bahut mahatvapurna hai the line x y is called principal axis principal axis 
remember it passes from C and the point P a simple line that passes from the center of the sphere of which the mirror is the part and the point P and naturally CP is the radius of this square so a line CP is types at point P at 90 degree these things we discuss later now first we know the terms you in case of convex uh, concave mirror term. X, Y principal axis, C point C is called center of curvature, curve jo hai, mirror, curvature, center of curvature. Now point P is called pole of the mirror, center of curvature of mirror, of mirror ki hum baat kar rahe. this is about mirror. Convex mirror, these things about convex mirror or mirror. Bar bar mirror nahi likhenge. It is called pole. And a point in midway between C and P. At this F. C F is equal to F P this F F is called principal focus principal focus and this lens is called focal length of the mirror P F P F Focal length of the mirror and this CP radius of curvature CP this distance is called radius radius hai hai halo is there ki radius hai so is the curve nikla mirror when you cut a small piece the mirror will be in the shape of it around this if you cut like you cut a round piece from the surface of football yeah this sketch a round piece so this will appear like this this is your mirror in between this point touching the surface of disc this is thick pole so now let us proceed see the radius of curvature so see the relation f focal length here it is denoted by small f so here we know that r is equal to 2f because F is in the midpoint of is the midpoint of C P. C or P the midpoint F. R is equal to 2 F is automatically establishes. Now you learn that all the points, what is the difference between plane plane mirror and Curved surface mirrors. Any con, we are talking about the con uh, cave mirror. The inner surface is reflecting surface. When outer surfing surface becomes a reflecting surface, like this. Here, if we plate, if we take this portion and plate here, silver plating. Oh no, this is the same thing. Plating is on this side inner side then this outer surface of the thin glass this M and S so 
this outer surface becomes reflecting surface. So this is called convex mirror. This is concave. Concave. First we talk about concave mirrors and this is convex mirror. All these things which are also apply in case of convex mirrors. हाँ तो हम बता रहे थे अंतर क्या है प्लेन मिरर और कॉन्वेक्स मिरर में प्लेन मिरर दिस वाज द प्लेन मिरर दिस इज द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस लेफ्ट साइड का सरफेस रिफ्लेक्टिंग इधर हमने मेटल कोटिंग कर दिया तो ईच पार्टिकल ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस As the normal in similar direction. मतलब ये पॉइंट ले लीजिए ये पॉइंट ले लीजिए यहां नॉर्मल पॉइंट इन दिस डायरेक्शन इस पॉइंट पे दिस डायरेक्शन नॉर्मल एंड वन एंड टू ये इस डायरेक्शन एंड टू एंड थ्री चाहे जहां आप ले लीजिए एन एक्स सब जगह पर एक दिशा में होंगे इन द सिमिलर डायरेक्शन नॉर्मल बिकॉज द सरफेस इज इवन द सरफेस इज प्लेन सो ईच पॉइंट ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस इज द नॉर्मल इन सिमिलर डायरेक्शन सो व्हाट हैपेंस द पैरल रेस कमिंग टुवर्ड्स द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस एंड आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन The reflecting rays are also parallel. Parallel in the same direction. So what happens? The normal is each point is in the similar direction. So allowing the law of reflection, the reflecting ray is the end says normal is the angle when I give it. We equal angle over. So all the rays, reflecting rays, so these rays, reflecting rays, will also be parallel. After striking this, the normal, ye i, or this r, yahan ye i, this r, ye i, ye r, ye i, ye r, barabar hogi. तो बीम ऑफ पैरल रेज ऑफ लाइट रिफ्लेक्टेड एज ए बीम ऑफ पैरल रेज बट इन केस ऑफ द कर्व सर्फेस केस ऑफ कर्व सर्फेस कट हैपेंस लेट दिस बी प्लेटेड दिस सर्फेस इज ए इनर सर्फेस इज Reflecting surface. So what happens? Here, if this this is the C center of this arrow sphere, a center of this mirror. The same center will be this curve curvature will be center C over. So what happens? If we join all the lines passing through C, if we join these lines. This is normal. So these are normal. All the normals will point towards the C. At this point, this is normal, and at this point, this is normal. At this point, this is normal. At this point, this is normal. So what happens? Suppose a ray. Strikes here at this point. So this angle I or this R equal angle. Now what happens at this? If it strikes same angle, suppose twenty degree. Here it means twenty degree. These are incident rays. Here 
twenty degree. Here then this becomes parallel beam. Here twenty degree. So what happens? This returns here. This returns here. This returns here. And this returns here. So we see the rays, reflecting rays. are not parallel because the normal at different point is pointing towards the different directions not then all the normals are not in the similar direction as in case of plane mirror so law of reflection follows here also follows here but the reflected beams when a beam of parallel ray strikes a mirror curved surface of the concave mirror, the reflecting rays are not parallel. The reflecting rays may be converging or diverging. Converging means these are parallel rays going and if after reflection if they come on any point suppose this comes on focus later we discuss or if they proceed further in the same direction and they come close to each other then this deviation of rays is called conversion uh, converging these are called converging rays. The convergence, the process is called convergence, converging rays. And when the rays, these are the parallel rays, and further they go apart. They are the distance between them increases as they proceed. So this is called process is called diversion. This is called conversion or this process is called diversion. Now let us discuss how the image is formed. When the object is put at different places before the concave mirror, the images are formed. So how the image is formed? We know the term uh, path of reflection of rays, how the rays are reflected and how the image is formed. When a, an object, what is an object? Anything which uh, reflects the light falling upon them are producing its own light or any luminous object from where the light goes towards the concave mirror and that light is reflected by it. and the image is formed where the rays meet the image is formed whether they meet actually or they seem to meet so let us discuss about the formation of image So, but we know some rules of reflection from concave mirror. Before going to discuss, uh, going to study the formation of image, some rules are there. So, number one rules. or you can say image formation by a concave mirror. बड़ा बड़ा बनाएंगे जिससे आपको ठीक से समझ सकें, you can understand easily, 
and you can see the rays separately let this is a mirror concave mirror this surface is reflecting surface let this is the silver coating outer surface silver coated so this become m m dash is called mirror this is the point p pole of the mirror This is F and this is C. It is in between from here. Approximately, so this is P. So we extend this line. This appearance color is C. Here is also extended. This is the appearance color is C. Now. The first rule, rule one, rule one is that any rays, incident rays parallel to principal axis, a incident ray parallel to principal axis after reflection returns from focus. Yeah, focus se ho ke jayegi this point se. This is rule one. Understand? And rule two. Rule one. Incident ray. parallel to p axis principal axis come after reflection goes from focus principal focus therefore you must focus there okay now second rule इसको बिठा दें ये फर्स्ट रोल हो गया इंसिडेंट रे प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ये प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस है ये प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस के पैरेलल इंसिडेंस रे है यहां स्ट्राइक किया इस पॉइंट पर स्ट्राइकिंग पॉइंट लेफ्ट एस सो रिटर्न हुई कहां से जाएगी फोकस से ओके अब इसको बिठाते हैं तो बढ़िया से क्लियरली नेक्स्ट रोल नेक्स्ट रूल सीकेंड रूल सीकेंड सेज एनी रे दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर तो एनी स्ट्रेट लाइन ड्रॉन फ्रॉम सी टू दिस लेंस विल बी नार्मल टू द लेंस तो एनी रे इंसिडेंट रे इट पासेस थ्रो सी दिस इंसिडेंट रे सपोज कहीं कोई ऑब्जेक्ट है वहां से रिफ्लेक्ट होके ये रे जा रही तो आफ्टर स्ट्राइकिंग द मिरर नाउ इट स्ट्राइक्स एट नाइन्टी डिग्री बिकॉज दिस इज द रेडियस सी एस ये पॉइंट लेस तो सी एस इज द रेडियस ऑफ दिस तो दिस इज एट नाइन्टी डिग्री तो हार्ट एवं दिस रिटर्न बैक ऑन द सेम पार्ट It returns and goes from C. It returns after reflection. It returns and goes from C. Reflected and follow the same path as the path of incident ray. Okay. And the reason I have told you. The reason is that C S is the radius of it. So it is at ninety degrees. इस पॉइंट पे नॉर्मली नॉर्मली टकरा रही है तो अगर इस पॉइंट पे छोटा सा पोर्शन ले लीजिए ये कर्व लेंस का छोटा सा पोर्शन तो मान लो ये ये प्लेन मिरर की तरह हो गया तो ये नॉर्मल ये एन तो कोई रे 
जो इसी पे आएगी नार्मल आएगी तो यहीं से वापस नार्मल से वापस हो जाएगी फॉलोइंग द रूल लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन तो रूल टू रूल टू क्या है इंसीडेंट रे पासिंग फ्रॉम सेंटर ऑफ टेम्परेचर मीन्स पॉइंट सी फ्रॉम आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन द रे विल पास थ्रो means this is will follow the same path as the path of path of the incident ray out abhi aarya kya kar ke phone aaya tha kya kar rahe kya tum pooja ho gayi aunty aa jaiye khana wana milti hai hum to hum gaye uncle ke bahar nikal gaye hain humne kaha aap kaise kya naam durant mujhe aap aap bas theek hai इंसिडेंट रे वॉशिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट सी आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे विल पास थ्रो सी मीन्स द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे विल फॉलो द सेम पाथ द सेम लाइन एज दैट ऑफ इंसिडेंट रे Rule number two. It is natural because this strikes the normally. This is a and this is C. Center of gravity. This is principal focus. Now rule. थ्री रूल थ्री जस्ट रिवर्स टू द रूल वन रूल वन में हमने कहा था जो पायर प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस के पायरल रे है यहाँ से रिफ्लेक्ट होने के बाद फोकस से जाएगी नाउ हियर वी से एनी रे आर फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन आर फ्रॉम लेट इज टेक इन दिस डायरेक्शन ये फोकस रे एक रे जा रही है ये टकराई यहाँ पे ये फोकस इंसिडेंट रे पासिंग थ्रो फोकस After striking the mirror, the refracted reflector ray will be parallel to the principal axis. This is this is principal axis के parallel to this. The gap will be same along this. So this is reflected ray. This is incident ray. This is reflected ray. So this is the reverse. Is that our rule? First. Now next the rule four. Rule four is nothing but simple. Expression of law of reflection. Any ray when it strikes at point P, this is incident ray. This is going in this direction. Incident ray. Let makes an angle I. So what happens at this very point P? Take the very small portion, a point portion of the curved surface. 
and this is called as very small the very small portion that we thoda bada bana dete hain so this will be have like plain mirror so ise normal liye ho gaya so koi re agar yahan takrati hai this is angle like, i to la problem kehta hai this will be i is equal to r the same thing says here the point b by a point having no length so very small smallest portion of the this curved lens so this may be treated as plane mirror so the reflected ray makes the same angle okay r this says and then this reaches the law of second law of reflection the so same thing if a incident ray is type such pole p it will make equal angle the incident ray and reflected rays will make equal angle from the principal axis so what is the principal axis principal axis is normal at point p so this is rule 4 so by using these four rules we will discuss the formation of images now take one by one Uh, these are rules for rules that how the image is formed now let us draw again this is pole p this is our principal axis this is our f And this is our C center of curvature, principal focus. This distance is called F. This distance is called R. CP is called R. Radius of curvature. First case. Let an object. Let a simple a line object. Let then an object is placed between P and F. any inside within the focus let this will be the object you know up side mein iska head bana dete hain aur a down side iska niche wala portion jo hai principal axis pe hai let this be an object when so this is illuminated by some Other source are it is self illuminated luminous object. Many any you can take. So when the light from this point of object emitted by this point of object are reflected by this point of object. So when the light the incident ray travels here parallel to this. This is parallel to the principal axis, incident ray. Let us change the color. Oh, yes, this is the incident ray. Now it becomes clear. This is the object. When it strikes the mirror at this point, so as per rule of reflection concave mirrors, of for concave mirrors, rule one, this parallel ray after reflection. Will pass through focus. This is a ref reflected ray. This is incident ray. This is reflected ray. Let us another color. This is reflected ray. green one but this is incident ray i am trying i am studying to make the image of this point the upper head of the object and the bottom of the object similarly so what happens this reflected ray when we see from here ye hamari aankh hai yahan se hum dekhte hain to it seems that it is coming 
हमको ये मालूम होता है कि यहां से ये आ रही है ये लगता है कि इधर से आ रही है तो यहां से देखते हैं इट सीज दैट दिस रे इज कमिंग फ्रॉम बिहाइंड द मिरर इन दिस डायरेक्शन नाउ टेक अनदर रे कौन सी रे लेंगे ऐसी रे ले जो इससे नॉर्मल टकराए नॉर्मली फॉलो मिरर पे आए स्ट्राइक करें नॉर्मली सो दैट इट कैन रिटर्न फ्रॉम सी तो दिस दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस टचिंग द लाइन ऐसी लाइन जो इस हेड को टच करते हुए सीधी निकले व्हाट हैपेंस अगर आगे बढ़ाएंगे आप ये ये इस पॉइंट पे ये रे यहां से रे इस हेड से एक रे ये गई थी पैरेलल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस नाउ द रे इज अलोंग सी एस ये पॉइंट ये से तो ये सी एस यानी मींस दिस रे दिस रे ये अनदर रे ये नीड टू रे टू फॉर्म द यानी सो व्हेन इट स्ट्राइक्स फ्रॉम द मिरर तो व्हाट हैपेंस It strikes normally, so it returns back on the same path. It returns back on the same path. So when we see this ray, so it seems that this is coming from here. It can become linearly to be to meet. so similarly each point say this point of the this point of the object this point this point similarly the images will be formed here 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 so this line image uh, line object ka image the image of the line object uh, uh, is stick put here is formed back side of the mirror you see that actually these rays seems coming from here seems to cut at this point but they actually don't cut so this image a dash b dash is virtual image image ki quality kya hogi ya nature in this case when the object is put within the focus means एफ के राइट साइड में पी पी और एफ के बीच में नेचर ऑफ इमेज नेचर ऑफ इमेज नंबर वन वर्चुअल इमेज की बात कर रहा हूं वर्चुअल नंबर टू ऑब्जेक्ट सीधा है इमेज भी सीधी है तो इरेक्ट इरेक्ट माने खड़ा खड़ा सीधा इरेक्ट है साइज ये तीन चार नेचर होते हैं साइज है लार्ज है तो एन लार्ज 
एन लगा दिए तो वर्ग बन गया लार्ज लार्ज माने लंबा एन लार्ज माने लंबा किया हुआ एन लार्ज एंड वर्चुअल है ही यू कैन नॉट टेक ऑन द स्क्रीन बिकॉज द रेज डोंट कट एक्चुअली सो दिस इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ इमेज एंड लोकेशन लोकेशन कहा बिहाइंड मिरर बिहाइंड कॉन्केव मिरर ये क्वालिटी है चार क्वालिटी दिस इज द फर्स्ट केस वेन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज विद इन द फोकस मीन्स बिटवीन पी एंड बिटवीन पोल एंड प्रेपर फोकस कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट कहीं भी रखेंगे तो यहां बनेगी जैसे जैसे आप फोकस की तरफ बढ़ेंगे इमेज बहुत दूर चली जाएगी और जब फोकस पे पहुंचेंगे नेक्स्ट केस तो इमेज मिल गया है इंफिनिटी वेरी लार्ज डिस्टेंस एंड वेरी डी ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट केस एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज विद इन द फोकस केस फर्स्ट है ये ऑब्जेक्ट कहाँ है आपकी ऑब्जेक्ट इज विद इन दस आप देख चुके लेट एज मूव और नेक्स्ट केस देर आर सिक्स केसेस सिक्स पोजिशन वेर द ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी फूड एंड द we study the information of image so this was the first case second case focus par hai and let us this is the principal axis this is the f this is the c Or this is your mirror. This is reflecting surface. Left side surface is reflecting surface. This is coating. This is point P pole. Now the case is that the object is at focus. You can take. पॉइंट ऑब्जेक्ट आर यू कैन टेक सम स्मॉल ऑब्जेक्ट दोनों केस हम डिस्कस करेंगे दिस इज ए दिस इज बी दिस पॉइंट एफ पॉइंट पे सब बॉटम में इमेज है दिस इज द स्टिक इमेज लाइन इमेज एंड अपवर्ड तो टेक अरे बाद में लिख लेंगे इसका एक तो कलर से पता ही है कलर सोच दैट दिस इज ऑब्जेक्ट लेट अरे ट्रेवल्स इंसिडेंट रे पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस दो रे लेना है वी हैव टू टेक टू रेस फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट ऑफ एनी पॉइंट ऑफ द इमेज टू अंडरस्टैंड द हाउ द रिफ्लेक्शन टेक्स प्लेस तो दिस Goes and strikes at point S. This is parallel to principal axis. So, as per rules of reflection, this will turn right from focus. Let us the different color. This is your reflected ray, and it strikes at this point of the mirror. Now take uh, another ray along the point C. So 
can be take a ray from this point A. If this is the incident ray, second incident ray, which strikes the mirror. So this ray is passing along this line, H dash, mango, C S dash. So C is passing. This line is passing from C. This ray from C A A pointing in its direction. C A S dash. So this strikes normally. So the reflected ray after striking it returns on the same path. So this will follow the same path. And we find that these both reflected rays are parallel. So, why say ये कहीं मिल नहीं सकती? But it is assumed that uh, the term infinity is not uh, confirmed thing. It says that it is very far, very big. Infinity is very, very far. So we assume that these rays will meet at infinity. So the reflected rays are parallel. And assumed to meet at infinity and it very very far very very far of distance and and Uncountable. So in this case, the image quality of image. This will make somewhere very far. So about the image. You have to understand here because you cannot see the. Image. Lines cutting at the infinity. Infinity is very far. Far up point. Uh, this is uh, not the ascertain how far is this. If you take thousand kilometers infinity, then it may be one lakh kilometer. You will take it one lakh. It may be ten lakh, and so on. So you cannot see. So here the nature of image. nature of image number 1 location at infinity at infinity object kahan par hai focus par object नेचर एट इंफिनिटी लोकेशन नंबर टू साइज एज कंपेयर टू द ऑब्जेक्ट इमेज ऑफ द साइज एन लार्ज हाईली इन लार्ज हाईली Highly enlarged, and you know the rays after reflection is going in this direction before the mirror. So, though they meet at very very far off place, but they meet actually. So, real. Image is upside and rays are going downside. So 
अगर हेड दिस साइड है तो वहां डाउनवर्ड बनेगा तो इनवर्टेड इनवर्टेड In all the other five cases, uh, four cases, this is second case. Virtual image is only in first case when the object is within the focus. And in all other five cases, this thing will be fixed because the rays will cut. The reflected rays will meet actually. Will cut each other actually. So the image will be real. and inverted it will be the inverted also so this was the second case in this case if you will take you be call you can also take in this way that this is a point image at focus so light it is it reflects the image is illuminated it reflects light falling on them in all the direction that many rays are going here or striking so since this is the focus so each ray is this 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 i even this if and this and this all these incident rays are coming from focus so after striking the mirror as per rule they will be the first one parallel to the principal axis All are to be parallel to the French bar axis. Like These are reflected rays. These are reflected rays. All reflected rays. Are parallel. इसके पहले मैंने दो रे लेके बताया था फोकस पे एक जस्ट लाइक आइस्टिक इमेज नाउ वी हैव टेकन द पॉइंट इमेज तो दिस पैरल रेज आर अजीम्ड टू मीट एट इन्फिनिटी और दे आर गोइंग दिस साइड कवरिंग द वेरी बिग एरिया So they will meet at infinity. So this point image, this type of image, will become very enlarged at infinity. The image, the object put at focus, the image will be at infinity. And these are the quality of image. Image. Now. ध्यान से देखिए अब आता है बारी नाउ नेक्स्ट इज थर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट इज थोड़ा इधर आइए फोकस पे आया तो फोकस से आगे आइए ऑब्जेक्ट इज बिटवीन बिटवीन एफ एंड सी Between principal focus and center of curvature, C. This is our mirror. This is point P. This is our principal axis. This is point P. This is F. This is C. 
पहले यहाँ ऑब्जेक्ट थी फिर फोकस पे नाउ वी है कम किया लेट द ऑब्जेक्ट वी बिटवीन फोकस एंड सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस इज इमेज दिस इज इमेज दिस रेड वन इज दिस वन इमेज नाउ स्टार्ट्स अरे पैरेलल ले लीजिए फर्स्ट रे फ्रॉम दिस टिप ऑफ द इमेज हेड ऑफ द इमेज comes in this direction incident on the plane will reflect it so where will it pass through it will go from focus to this this is reflected ray this is pass from focus This is reflected ray. A ray from this point of the object when falls on the mirror reflected in this direction. Now take a uh, take second ray from this tip. So let the ray passes in such a way that is falls normal. So the normal fall karegi to yaha. ये दिस इज द दिस विल बी द अगर ये दो पॉइंट आप मिला दें पॉइंट ए ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड सी तो दिस एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन लेट दिस विल बी लेट दिस ए एंड ए एस पॉइंट ले लो ये है यहाँ पे फॉल करती है मिरर पे द रे फॉल्स स्ट्राइक द मिरर एट दिस पॉइंट तो दिस line since this is along c ac so this cs is the radius of this curvature so after striking the mirror this will return back on the same path this will return back on the same path It will make somewhere. I will draw it some. This direction. This. This will come here. So extend the. This is the principal axis. So this. Will be the here will be the image. It will be A dash B dash. The reflected ray will meet at this point. In such a way, the One ray, if you take from the point B of the object, this goes. This is normal. So this will return back, and this will come here. So B dash will be this point of the object. So A dash, B dash will be the image when the object is between principal focus and center of curvature. So here the nature of image. In this case, nature of image. Number one, it is real. Number two, it is inverted. Ulta hai, not direct inverted. Ulta hai. Ye upside hai, to ye downside hai. Size enlarged 
इन बिटवीन है तो एन लार्ज है देखिए जब फोकस पे भी ऑब्जेक्ट था तो इमेज बहुत बड़ी थी अब यहाँ से इस डायरेक्शन में ऑब्जेक्ट शिफ्ट करना शुरू किया तो इमेज की साइज घटना शुरू की तो उतनी बड़ी नहीं है बट इट इज बी एंड वेन इट विल रेज एंड सी द इमेज एंड ऑब्जेक्ट साइज विल बी इक्वल साइज ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इमेज विल बी इक्वल वी विल से जस्ट लेटर तो एन लार्ज जब ऑब्जेक्ट फोकस पे थी तो इमेज बहुत बड़ी थी हाईली एन लार्ज नाउ इट इज शिफ्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इज शिफ्टिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन so the size of image will start decreasing and when the object will reach at c the or size of object and image will be equal so enlarged and uh, for location in front of mirror ya big in front of mirror this was the third case now नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट केस ले लीजिए जब हैं द ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट सेंटर ऑफ कार्बेज ऑब्जेक्ट इज ए नाउ स्टार्ट द इंसिडेंट रे द रे फ्रॉम द टिप ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए लेट दिस बी द इंसिडेंट रे गोस पैरेलल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस व्हेन इट स्ट्राइक्स एट दिस पॉइंट यू नो द रूल फर्स्ट parallel to principal axis the ray after reflection passes from focus this is the reflector thread passes from the focus now if you take another way starting from the head of the object and following this line the incident ray passes from focus the incident ray passes from focus this is incident ray after the okay? This is rule third. Passes from the focus, so after reflection becomes parallel. Get reflected ray. So this cuts here. So the head will be formed here. So A dash and B dash. पॉइंट सी है सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर सी पर ये इमेज बन जाएगी आप देखिए दिस इज द वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस सो हियर द ऑब्जेक्ट इज है सी सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर तो इमेज इमेज के बारे में जान लीजिए नेचर ऑफ इमेज नेचर ऑफ इमेज नंबर वन लोकेशन क्या है एट सी सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर नंबर दो साइज क्या है सेम साइज एज दैट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नंबर थ्री 
है ज्वेल तो नहीं लीजिए ज्वेल को अब इस टर्म दिया है शब्द दिया है रियल एंड इट इज नंबर चार इनवर्टेड होती है ऑब्जेक्ट ऊपर को है तो ये नीचे को है इनवर्टेड दिस इज द नेचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड नाउ नेक्स्ट केस इज बियॉन्ड सी सी से इस तरफ है नाउ टेक दिस मीर दिस इज पॉइंट पी दिस इज प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस दिस इज पॉइंट पी Let this is a this inner surface is reflecting surface. Can't give me the. Let us plate this. M M dash. What is here in nomenclature? You have to understand. This is F. This is C. And we have to put an object beyond C. any in this direction somewhere let to be put here at this let this is a object let it a different color let us give it this different color object this is point a object this is b this is an object object is beyond c beyond center of curvature <coughs> beyond center of curvature now start the ray the ray incident ray from point a of the head of the object go and strike the mirror here it is parallel to principal axis so it will follow this path path from passes from focus now you take another line and the ray which may pass from here it will go back on the same path because the ray will strike the mirror normal or you can take another ray which passes from the focus and becomes parallel this is the let us take this focus from the focus and it becomes parallel to the This ray incident ray passes from the focus and falls on this point of the say S on the mirror. So its reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis edge rule. First, so here the ray cut. So the image will form here. So this will be image. You can also take instead of this ray, you will take this ray. C से C से जो रह जाएगी वो भी यहीं पे कट करेगी. And this will proceed and meet the strike the mirror here. And this will return back because this is this strike the mirror normally. So this will return back. You can take also this ray, a ray from this point A 
and passes from C and strikes the mirror, this returns C. So when they returns, they cut these rays at this point. So for our mission of image, you can take more than one ray for simplicity. We have taken this. You can rub out this ray. Even then, you can understand the image is found here. This is the image. So when the object is beyond the point C here, the image is formed, object is beyond C, the image is formed between C and F. Now what happens? If, if your object will shift and shift and shift in this direction, and when it goes very far from C, the image will travel to this, and when your object will reach at infinity, the image will be at focus. And if the, your object is shifting in this direction, then the image will shifting also in this direction. When your, your object will reach at C, the image will also reach at C. So here, the nature of image. Number one, object is beyond C. So image is location. Image is between F and C. Center of curvature, F. Center of curvature, center of curvature. Number two, this is the real and inverted. This is real. Number three, inverted. Inverted, inverted, and number charge either in front of mirror in all cases except case first, real and inverted and in front of mirror. Our size uh, choti. So this would diminish to the less small is smaller than object are then diminished. Diminished it's the language of optics. So this is the fifth case. Let us Mikadis Firage last case. You have seen that when the object was on the focus the image was formed by the infinity. The vice versa is also true. This is our lens. This is point P, and this is the principal axis. This is F, this is C. You have seen that many rays let the uh, rays from very far up place when. They will travel and strike the mirror, they will be the beam of parallel rays. The light will be in the form of beam of parallel rays. So this is coming from very far. So what happens? We have seen that uh, yeah, all the parallel rays will very far up places the rays are coming and striking the mirror they will after reflection the reflected ray will meet at focus 
So image will be formed and focused. So it's a real and inverted and highly diminished. I focus the object when object is at infinity. So image number one at focus money number two highly diminished bahut choti as compared to object diminished and number three real and inverted And focus it location uh, in front of mirror. Jab real hai to in front of mirror ho hi jayega. Now let us stop here. And we have discussed the formation of image by a concave mirror when the object before the mirror is put at different places means first the object was within the focus means it was at a distance from pole such that the distance was less than f any principal focus ke under so within the focus is ko bolte hain and second case was the image was at here f first was the image was in between p and f p or f ke beech mein second was at f third was between f and c in between here yahan se yahan tak kahin bhi thi next was at c and the next was beyond c c ke is tarah and the at last part is was at infinity Okay thank you for today's lesson now in next class we will take up some numericals so that uh, the fundamentals the theory may become very clear to all of you thank you good luck best of luck Thank you students